weight. Is your New Year's resolution to lose weight? Mine is not going to be, darn it, this year. It's been that for the last 20 years of my life, but not this year. But if you're looking for a way to maybe lose weight, get a little more fit, get a little more flexible in the new year. We have Laura Markford here from Symmetry Pilates, who has some great ideas of ways to lose weight. I mean, everybody wants to get in shape. I feel like it's the beginning of the year. Let's start it right, and let's do it with exercise. Right. And, you know, there are lots of ways to exercise, uh -huh. lots of different ways to exercise, of course. But what I'd like to bring to the table today is some options that you can do anywhere. Um, you don't need any equipment, mm -hmm. any special clothing. All you need to do is actually just take a couple of minutes. You can do these things sitting, standing, Fabulous. lying down. It's not going to cost me anything. not going to cost you a cent. To do um, these exercises. Let's begin. We'll bring Carol in. Come on over, Carol. Who's our Pilates model du jour. Yes. And uh, what's the first thing that she's going to do? Well, what I'd like to propose here is that we start to breathe with mm -hmm. intention. Um, and with this intention, our intent is to actually pull in and engage our built-in girdle here mm -hmm. and learn how to use these muscles for better posture. So what we'll do is begin standing with the feet about hip distance apart, mm -hmm. which might be about where your pockets would be on your jeans. All right. Um, your hips are smaller than you think. And we're going to start to float up through the body, lifting through the hips, lifting through the ribs. We want to relax the shoulders and continue that lift through the spine out through the crown of the head. Already she's looking leaner and longer. And younger. You know, <laughs> 20 years. No, I'm just kidding. So what is this doing for us, though? I mean, it's, it's lengthening the body. Why is that important? It's lengthening the body. That is what helps you look slimmer. It improves your posture. Already ah. you're standing up taller as well. Mm -hmm. And it is one of those contagious things, sort mm -hmm. of like a yawn. You see someone else doing it, and they want to do it, too. So um, with the breath, here, we can activate the core muscles. So go ahead and take a deep breath in, Carol, lifting up through the spine. And as you exhale, you'll feel your rib cage sort of pulling down into the body. Pull in a little further, in with the belly, and you're engaged in here, protecting the back, mm -hmm. protecting um, all the organs inside while you're staying long. You and all that? we're doing is breathing. All we're doing is breathing. Okay. Which you can do this waiting in line at the supermarket or at the bus stop. And the benefit is I'm lengthening. And is there, is there another benefit to this? There is another benefit where right. you learn how to engage these deep muscles. Engage like suck in a little? Sort of like sucking in, but um, it's more like the when you cough uh -huh. or sneeze, it's those deeper muscles that pull everything in. That you're going to need. That you're going to need come for summertime. Yeah. Well, not even summertime. Mm -hmm. When you're shoveling snow, uh, you got to need the those. core. When you're lifting children. What's when the you're next exercise? Luggage. The next exercise is called the standing roll down. And again, mm -hmm. this is another one you can do sitting or lying down. Um, the standing roll down, you want you to imagine you're standing up against a wall. Mm -hmm. That's right. You pull your shoulders back. You're lifting through the crown of the head. Go ahead and take a deep inhale, Carol, and as you exhale, start to melt down away from that wall, one vertebra at a time. I'm just walking my fingers down to remind her to bend one vertebrae at a time. Mm -hmm. Good. You can go down as far as you feel comfortable. You'll feel an opening through the upper back, a lengthening of the spine, and lengthening of the hamstrings as well. You know, and as simple as this looks, it's something that once you do it, you probably realize, wow, I didn't realize that I hadn't used those muscles in a while. Exactly. And it's different from, than just bending over uh -huh. at the waist. Right. It's lengthening through the spine. Now, does now, she stay down there? On the way back up. She's coming up. Okay. <laughs> Good. Take a deep breath in first, and then exhale. Begin at the bottom of your spine one vertebra at a time and again this helps with flexibility we've got like yes. 30 seconds left so I want to get to our last exercise sure sure um, the last exercise is more of a strengthening exercise mm -hmm. that strengthens the upper back area this is called standing swan mm -hmm. and what she's going to do is start to reach straight down through your arms there now she has her hands clasped mm -hmm. which you can do if that's uncomfortable for you you can always reach straight down mm -hmm. but we're lengthening straight up through the spine and then and we're lifting as you exhale. Oh, it feels like you're opening up your chest there. You're opening the front of the chest and the shoulder. Oh, stand upright. There we go. We want to stay upright and we're just lifting through the arms. Blowing the breath out, pulling in through the belly and the ribs. And this helps in so many different ways. The good news is you're actually helping our and studio audience if they would like to try you a can Pilates do it class, in your chair. right? Yes. You can do this in your class, but you're also offering everyone in our studio audience an opportunity to come to Symmetry Pilates in Westchester for free, for a free class, just to get you started. That's right. Get your... Um,
Scotty moving for the new year. Thanks so much, Laura oh, Barker. You're welcome. Thank you. We're back with more of the Gen Show right after this.